so um what is today uh, i think it's a saturday it's october the first whatever day that is <clears throat> so this uh this saga continues um the roller coaster is um last update uh, the roller coaster was on its way up and um you know what it's going the other way or it was going the other way um you know as of yesterday excuse the noise this chair is weird as of yesterday um they had actually <clears throat> technically she's still in the same room i know it sounds weird they discharged her from uh, the neuro team turned her over to infectious disease control and the uh inpatient rehab so technically she was under them she actually changed doctors um you know different doctors were coming in checking on her things like that so <clears throat> um also uh as of like two days ago i think a couple days ago they transitioned her to oral antibiotics for the meningitis because they were seeing you know a trend of her getting better and uh they uh I guess just assume that was just their, you know, moving forward of the day she goes home, she'll be on oral meds. And there was a lot of unknowns there too, anyway. Well, fast forward to um, <clears throat> this morning, um, about two o'clock-ish, she started hurting. She had taken her, um, she had taken her pain meds and it just wasn't working. Um, she took her pain meds and it kind of knocked her out for about 20 minutes and then, um, 20 30 minutes later she was back hurting again and uh, so that was uh, that continued all through the morning and then after that they, they gave her her pain meds and nothing was working so luckily the neurologist just happened to stop by and check on her and seen her in the middle of this you know pain state so he ordered a CT scan checked the CT out um, CT looked okay other than some fluid buildup behind her incision, um, pointing to um, either the infection was getting uh, worse, not the infection, the meningitis was getting worse or something else. <clears throat> so that's kind of where we're at. So they decided the only way to figure that out was to do a, another lumbar puncture, but this time they were just gonna do a drain and leave it in. So drain the fluid off, um, you know, draining it from the lower back actually pulls it from from where it's building up. And um, so they left the drain in, took some samples, and I'm gonna check check them for uh, other kind of bacteria or anything else that's happening. Um, she is now readmitted with neurosurgeon team. All rehab has been stopped. Um, so she is back to ground zero <coughs> in um, recovery, technically. Uh, shunt's still on the table. Um, they, uh, after they put that drain in, she began to feel better, a lot better, actually. Uh, other than she did something she, they told her not to do, which was move a certain way, get in a certain position. She raised up and sat up in bed, caused the drain to drain too fast. It drained too much fluid. And now she's got a splitting headache on the, on the front side. So she just caused herself some more pain, but she, so she's hurting right now, laying in bed. Uh, but that's where we are. At the moment, they're going to leave the drain in and continue to drain off the fluid. Uh, that seems to be uh, where her excruciating pain is coming from. So with that, she'll feel better. Um, <clears throat> and then they put her back on uh, IV antibiotics. So um, yeah, we'll step back. Another another um, feels like two steps forward, three steps back. So. Uh, just keep praying for her and that's where we are at the moment and I'll keep you updated on where we go from here. Um, they're still talking about the shunt. It's not out of the question. Actually, all this kind of points toward to the fact that she may need it more. So right now the drain in her back <coughs> is acting as, is doing kind of what the shunt is. It's, it's pulling the fluid off of, of the swelled area. Um, so yeah, all is not lost. But there's definitely, you know, there's like something else going on there. But they're they're figuring it out. 
rehab will commence whenever we get this under control. But it uh, sounds like they're going to do, instead of two weeks of oral antibiotics, now it's going to be two weeks of uh, IV antibiotics. Uh, so, I, I feel like I need to address uh, a mailbox here at MD Anderson. So, that's where we are. Thanks, Kai. I'm going to update you. Keep praying, please. Later.